देखिए क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विथ कॉन्स्टेंट कोफिशियंट ओके नाउ यू कैन क्लियरली सी द राइट हैंड साइड इज जीरो दैट मीन्स वी विल नॉट हैव अ पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल इन दिस क्वेश्चन ओके I hope you must. Uh, I hope you know how to solve uh, the questions based on linear differential equation with constant coefficients. You must have gone through one or two examples. Let's solve this question, and with the help of this question, we'll also understand that how to factorize or solve the equations having higher degrees like q. 4 power 4 power 5 and so on so main focus will be on that only i will uh, solve this question also no problem so let's start with this question so first of all what we do in this type of question is finding the auxiliary equation how to find auxiliary equation simply replace d by m so 4 m square Minus eight m cube minus seven m square plus eleven m plus six, and then equate it to zero. Next step is to find the roots of this equation. So again, I told you. Uh, sorry, uh, it will be four here. so it will be power 4 okay so how to do that there is a trick behind that let's uh, understand what is that beautiful trick what you do you write the coefficients of the powers so for power 4 i have my coefficient as 4 for power uh, for power 3 which is m q i have my coefficient as minus 8 For power two, which is m square, I have my coefficient as minus seven. Then I have eleven, and finally I have my constant term as six. Fine. Now, first step: simply write zero below the first uh, number. Okay, and. Keep on adding that. So four plus zero is four. Okay. But 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 the main idea of this is you need to find first root by yourself by hit and trial. Okay. So the remaining three roots will find with the help of this trick. So first root we always need to find by hit and trial. So let's use hit and trial. Let's see whether one is the root or not. If you uh, Put m equals to one, so you'll get four minus eight minus seven plus eleven plus six. So the positive parts are seventeen and twenty-one. Okay, and the negative part is fifteen. So twenty-one minus fifteen is six. So this clarifies that one is not there. Okay, no problem. We will move to minus one. So you'll get four. Then from here minus one into minus eight, so plus of eight. From here one into minus seven, so minus of seven, minus of eleven, and plus of six. So positive things you are getting is fourteen and eighteen, and eighteen minus eighteen. Yes, we got that. So minus one is root. Okay, so we are done with this. So we have got the first root as minus one. Okay. So what I was talking as the steps. First step is write zero. This zero will be below this number. Okay. Then add. You are getting four. Multiply this four with this number. So if you multiply this, you will get minus four. Write that minus four here. Okay. Then again, as I told you, add this two. So you are getting minus twelve. Multiply again with this minus one. So minus twelve into minus one is twelve. Write that below this. Again the same step. Add this two. You are getting five. Multiply this five again with minus one. You are getting minus five. Again add. 
you will get 6 multiply the 6 with minus 1 so you will be getting minus 6 so in the end you are getting 0 what this signifies is minus 1 is really the one of the roots of this equation if you uh, haven't got 0 here so that uh, would have meant that minus 1 is not a root if you are getting 0 then ok minus 1 is root so what's the next step this was biquadratic ok now this you have eliminated one number so you are getting four different numbers now what you will do is multiply first number by q so 4m q second number by square so 12m square third by keep on decreasing the power okay so you have got this okay fine now again solve this okay so again we will use this method so I will write 4 minus 12, 5 and then 6, fine. So, again keep on solving. So, one root again I will have to find by hit and trial. Okay. So, one root if you will find, what will you get? Uh, if I try to uh, keep 1 here, so will 1 satisfy? 4 minus 12 plus 5 plus 6. So, you are getting 11, 15 minus 12, that is 3. So, 3 is not a root, so no problem. Minus 1 if I put, so minus 1 if I put, so I will get minus 4 minus 12 minus 5 plus 6 so you are getting negative of 17 21 no problem then what will i do i will put plus of 2 so if i put plus of 2 so 32 from here minus 48 from here 10 from here and 6 from here so 42 and 6 48 minus 48 so you are getting 0 ok that means that 2 is 1 root so continue write 0 here ok you are getting 4 4 2 is 8 minus 4 minus 4 into 2 is minus 8 minus 3 minus 3 into 2 is minus 6 now this gives you quadratic now so 4 m square minus 4m minus 3 equals to 0. Now will you be able to solve this? Uh, you are getting 12 so I can write this as 4m square uh, minus 6m plus 2m minus 3 equals to 0. Okay. So if you take 2m common 2m minus 3 1 common 2m minus 3 this equals to 0 ok so I am lacking by space so I will go to the next space 2m minus 3 and 2m plus 1 so 2m minus 3 and 2m plus 1 equals to 0. So from here I will get m equals to 3 by 2 and from here I will get m as minus of half. Okay, so what are my roots? It was a biquadratic so I will get 4 roots. Let's write that m1, m2, m3 and m4. So, M3 I have got as 3 by 2. M4 is minus half. Earlier I got 2. Let's check that once more. So, first was minus 1. Then, 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 then 2 was there. And finally the 2 roots. So, 
minus one was there, then two, then these two. Okay. Now, as this is a linear differential equation with constant coefficient, so complementary function. Okay. What will be that? Complementary function in case the roots are distinct is given by c1 e power m1x. So m1 is minus one plus c2 e power m2x c3 e power m3x plus c4 e power m4x fine and my final solution is always y equals to cf plus pi now as i earlier told that pi will be zero because pi is evaluated from the rhs portion and as you can see that the rhs portion is zero okay so that will ultimately be zero so final answer is cf plus pi so y will be pi is zero so cf will ultimately be a part of my answer e power 2x plus c3 e power 3x by 2 plus c4 e sorry e power c4 e power minus x by 2 okay so this is my final answer i already told you that main part of this question was not uh, to solve uh, the this uh, differential equation main point was how can you easily get to the uh, four roots of this question so that was the main part and we use that trick to easily find because i had to explain so it took me time otherwise uh, it was not a lengthy one it was an easy one i hope you understand